Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics. In this video let's try to this really interesting question, which one is bigger? On the left hand side 9 to the 10th power, on the right hand side 10 to the 9th power. So as you can see it's not like a huge number right here, we don't have like 50, 100, thousands right here. We have really great, really great numbers, 9 to the 10 and 10 to the 9. So right now you can easily pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. It's really interesting for me to read your thoughts about it, because this is, it will be like my methods how can we compare, how can we find which one is bigger, but I'm really interested to read your thoughts about it, it is a really great, really great question. So on the first side it looks like similar numbers, on the first side we have 9 right here as a base, 9, 9 right here as a power, we have 10 as a base, 10 as a power, it looks like maybe mm, similar numbers, but these numbers are uh, really different from each other, because this is completely different values of, this, of these numbers. So this is my, my, uh, my approach to this question, and I, I want to start with this with this uh, step. First of all, we have 9 to the 10th power. I want to start with this left hand side. I leave this uh, right hand side, let's go with left hand side. 9 to the 10th power, let's write this 9 as, let's write this 9 as 10 minus 1. 10 minus 1, we have to the 10th power. 10 minus 9, 10 minus 1 to the 10th power. Okay, we write this 9 as 10 minus 1. Right here, I want to start with this with this step. Let's try to read this to the 10th power using all known the theorem right here, but I don't want to find all these elements to the 10th power. I want, I want to start from the beginning. So take a look closely. The first one, this is like 10 to the 10th power, 10 to the 10th power, then minus 10 times 10 to the 9th power, yeah, all known the theorem, and I rate this step by step, but I don't want to raise all of these elements, I want to start only in the beginning, only in a few, maybe three or four elements. So then we have plus, and I do want to find this constant right here, I write this as 10 times second constant, and times 10 to the 8th power, then minus, minus 10 times the third constant, times 10 to the 7 power and plus, for example, let's go with 1, plus 10 the first fourth constant times 10 to the 6th power. Let's go with this, let dot dot dot, right here we have like this uh, decreasing, this increasing right here, so we have 6, 5, 4, 3, and we go like minus 10 times 9 constant times and plus, plus, 10th constant times plus 10 constant times 10. Okay, this is our expression right here. And I, I right now I want to mention one really important moment. We have like 10 to the 10th power and 10 times 10 to the 9th. It will be like, it will be like, uh, we can easily cancel this. So right here, 10 and this 10 we can easily cancel. And right now, why I don't write this all uh, coefficient right here? Because right here, as you can see, 10 uh, times uh, second constant. Uh, if you know uh, this uh, binomial theorem, this constant equal to 45. Right now I'm going to write this constant. Right here we have like 120 is our second constant. We are, uh, once more we have right here, we have 210, this is our third constant, and dot dot dot, a lot of this constant. I don't want to write all of this, all of this constant, but as you can see right now, let's try to change this constant, let's write the exact value of this constant. So as a result we have 45 times 10 to the 8th power, 10 to the 8th power, minus 120, 120 times 10 to the 7th power, plus 210 times 10 to the 6th power, and a lot of this, a lot of these elements from this uh, theorem. And of course we compare this versus 10 to the 9th power. Okay, right here, let's try to factor from this expression. So as you can see, we have a lot of expression. We have 10 to the fifth, fourth, second, third. Yeah, and let's try to factor from this expression 10 to the ninth power. I write, uh, first of all, I write uh, these parentheses. I write right here parentheses. And I write this expression right here. So 10 to the ninth power we factor. And we compare these verses 10 to the ninth power. So right here, let's try to factor from this expression 10 to the 9th power. So from here, if a factor, we don't have any 45, we have 4.5, 4.5. Then we have minus 1.2, minus 1.2, because we go from the two digits, we have 9, so we go with 1 and 2 digits, right here we have 1.2. Then plus 
right here three digits 0 0.21 so plus 0 0.21 21 and minus and a lot of these dots right here so we go to you go to the first coefficient fourth third second and the first but one really important moment past this point the coefficient won't really affect the leading digits so as you can see right here we have digits plus this parenthesis has plus digits so and i exactly find this value for you all of these digits i find this value right here we have like 3.486 but with the plus sign this is really important because right here with the plus sign and as you can see we compare this with 10 to the 9th power if we have a regular 10 10 to the 9th power on the right hand side and right here we have the same expression but we multiply this expression by these numbers so 3.486 then we can easily say that our our left left value will be will be greater so we have like 9 to the 10th power, 9 to the 10th power is greater than 10 to the 9th power. This is my, my approach. I, I, want, I want you to write your thoughts about this question. This is my approach. I want you to, to know about it. I want you to understand. Maybe someone don't like this approach, maybe find difficulties, but I want you to understand this like plus one approach for, for this question. Maybe you find with, with natural log, with, with the power tricks, maybe you divide this one by this one. This is, this is a great approach as well to solve this question, because if you divide this one by this one, then as a result, if the result is less than one then for example like less than one we have like a denominator is greater if bigger than one then numerator is greater so this is like second approach for this question with natural log this is a really great approach as well but i want you to to know about this approach maybe you you interested in this or you write your thoughts about this question i'm really interested as well to read your thoughts about this approach what do what do you think about it and i hope you you understand this explanation so thank you for your time and have a great day I wish you all the best in your adventures. See you in the next videos and take care of yourself.